Hi hey everyone, welcome to the next diecast. Today I'll be showing you and reviewing this 118 scale Audi R8 made by Maisto. Um, Maisto's 2019 catalog just came out a few days ago and it looks like that they discontinued this particular model. Um, but when it was in their 2018 catalog last year, it came in this nice white with, with the beige interior and also a red with the same color interior. Um, in the past they also made this model in silver and like a light metallic blue. Uh, Maisto does make the Audi R8 GT version. Um, this is just the regular Audi R8 V8 from 2008 to 2011. Um, but the GT has like a different grille. I think the seats are different and it also has a spoiler on it. And that one is actually better detailed than this regular version. Um, like I said, this is the 2008 to 2011 um, original Audi R8 V8 here. Um, Maisto did an okay job in terms of detail. There are a few flaws that I'll show you as we get to the review throughout. Um, you, you can still find this online today for around like $25 to $40, depending on which site you buy it from. Uh, but since it was discontinued, prices might go up. Um, I bought this from Sam's Club about five years ago um, for around like $15 or so. And for that, I would say it's, it's very good. Um, for $35 though, it's just okay. Um, so let's get into the detail here. We'll start with the lights. The headlights are fairly well detailed. Uh, Meister did a good job with the bulb back here, as well as the LED row. Um, there are a couple of black pegs in each of the lights. I used to hold them in place. They don't look that great, especially when you look at them up close. Um, the grills underneath the lights, though, do look pretty good, except for the fact that this whole thing's a bit loose. Um, they do have kind of like a mesh texture, but it doesn't go all the way through. This center grill here kind of has this like weird glossy black look to it. I don't know if it's supposed to be glossy black on the real car or not, but it doesn't really look that great because it's just kind of a solid grill that doesn't go through or anything. Um, the chrome that surrounds the grill though does look pretty good. It almost looks like metal, but it's just plastic. Um, the Audi R8 badge, they did a good job with, with um, applying that on there. Let me zoom in on it. It's not a sticker, it's actually painted on. I got a bit of dust on the hood too. Um, but yeah, they did a good job with that. This car has lots of massive panel gaps on it. You can see that there's a big gap in between the door here um, and the hood and the fender. It doesn't look that great, especially on the white car too. There's a massive gap. You can actually see light through it between the bumper, the rear bumper and this body panel here. Um, and the bumper is plastic, and it's easy to tell, especially when you touch it. Uh, the paint quality you can see is not applied that well, especially when you go above the wheel well here. Um, it, it's applied thick in some spots. You can see that there's some thick spots here and here. Um, on the roof and doors it's okay, and the hood for the most part. But, but yeah, you can see here it's a little bit roughly applied. But from a distance it's, it's really difficult to tell that there's some paint problems. Wheel detail, though, on the other hand, is very good. Uh, Maestro did a good job with, with uh, replicating the five-spoke rims that were available on the actual um, R8. And um, the R8... I'm sorry, the brake calipers say R8 on them in this, like, silver... It looks like it's raised up, too, but it's actually just, I guess, stamped on there. Um, you do get full suspension, which is very well pronounced on all four wheels, as you can see here, as well as full steering, which is nice to see. And the steering does actually stay in place when you turn the wheel. Some Maisto models, it doesn't do that. But on this one, the wheels stay in one spot. They don't just snap back to the straight position. Moving along to the back. Tail lights are kind of poorly done. Um, you can see that, that there's two obvious looking pegs in each one. There's no real detail to the lenses, but they, do, they did paint on a little turning indicator. Sorry. On each side here, which does look pretty good. Um... The Audi badge and the R8 badge look look pretty good. They're also painted on. Um, this entire bumper here is actually plastic. And you can tell because there's a big gap in between the metal and plastic parts on here. Kind of looks like the bumper's going to fall off, actually. But it's but it's nice and sturdy. It's not going to come off. But it looks like it's going to come off because of how big the gap is. The grills back here, though, do look pretty good. Um, as well as the exhaust pipes. Um, the exhaust pipes, they're not chrome. They're actually painted in silver, which make them look more... Um, realistic than they would if they were chrome. Also, I forgot to mention, um, I don't know what these things are called, but they're on the real R8 too. 
um, and they're made of carbon fiber on the real car. Meister did a really good job at making this look like it's carbon fiber with the rough plastic effect that they did. And this gas cap up here says RA on it, and it is a separate piece, which is nice to, which is nice, um, to see that. Uh, mirrors are nice and sturdy. They're not going to be coming off any, any, anytime soon, which is nice to see. Let's go ahead and move on to opening features. We'll start up here with the trunk, or the, the luggage compartment. The hood opens up a bit too wide, as you can see here. I don't think it should be opening that wide, because it actually goes past the windshield, but I could be wrong, but I'm not 100% sure. Nothing really to see in the trunk here. Um, it's not carpeted or anything like that. They did put in some oh, some detailing, but not too much. Um, there's a bit of dust you can see here. Yeah, that's actually a lot of dust. <laughs> there actually is a liner underneath uh, the hood, though, which is nice to see. Might as didn't just leave it as bare metal. Nice extra touch there. We'll close this up. This model does include a rear spoiler, but it does not really work that well. It doesn't even stay up. Um, older versions of this model also have the spoiler, but it's just not, it's just, it's just not working right on mine. And that's disappointing to, to see that. Uh, the rear engine cover does open though. I'm just going to turn it upside down. There we go. Take a look at the detailing. Detailing could be better. Um, this engine is just kind of one plastic mold. Um, it doesn't move when you like put your finger on it though, which is nice to see. But you can see that that V8 FSI is just kind of stamped on over the plastic here. And there really isn't any other detail besides the main block here and everything. Meister did put in a rough texture to kind of um, imitate carbon fiber, which is nice to see. And they use a different textured plastic for the, for the center portion here. Um, but it is just like a kind of one, one plastic piece engine structure. There's the spoiler there. It opens up when you have the engine cover open, which is kind of stupid. I wish it opened up without the engine cover being open, but yeah, we'll close that up. Um, but yeah, when you have it closed up and look at it from a distance, though, it does look really good, especially with this um, engine cover here. But yeah, detailing could have been a little bit better, I would say. But then again, this is a nice though. I got it for 15 bucks, so you can't really ask for too much. Let's go ahead and look at the interior here. The doors open nicely um they're nice and tight they have that spring loaded hinge so they're not going to be coming off that easily door panel detail i would say is pretty good might still have might still added a nice kind of leather textured pattern to it um it did a good job with the two-tone black and beige they painted a little bit of detailing on the door handle and a couple buttons here and there which is a nice touch there's this extra thing on here i don't know what this part is sticking out of the driver's side door handle but that is on the real car i believe um, which is good that they added that to this. The seats look pretty good, except for when you see that there's some light coming through here, which means that the plastic was, a, I guess, a bit too thin, uh, which is kind of, which looks kind of weird, especially when you see the light going through it. Um, but other than that, the, the overall shape of the seats looks good. Maestro did include the, the, the seat belts as well, which, which is a nice touch. Um, Wish they were a little bit thicker though on the plastic here, so you can't see light going through it. Um, there's no headliner; it's just bare metal, which is kind of um, disappointing. They did put up these, they did put on these um, these sun visors though, which is kind of odd. They don't usually do that. The floor, the flooring doesn't have any kind of rough texture. They they use the same texture as the seats. Sometimes might still put in like a rougher texture to simulate carpeting, but they didn't bother on this model, and I I, I wish they did. Detailing on the dashboard. There we go. You can see on the center stack, all the buttons are painted on very nicely. Um, they look like the real buttons on the actual um, center stack of the real car. Uh, the dashboard does have that same leather pattern to it as the door panels does. Um, Lisa did a good job of painting all the components silver, such as the perimeter of the vents and the perimeter of the center stack there. And the shifter looks pretty good and it's not loose or anything. Sometimes Lisa puts in loose shifters. So that's good to see that. Detailing on the steering wheel is also very nice as well. Um, they included the Audi symbol in the center there. Um, it doesn't have any kind of texture to the perimeter or anything. It is a little bit loose though. I wish it was tighter. And the pedals are also very well done in this silver plastic. So they look like they're metal. Undercarriage detail, 
there really isn't anything to see at all. There's no exhaust system or anything like that. I guess on the real um, Audi R8, it's like that as well, but I'm not 100% sure. Overall, I would say that this model is decent, but it could use some extra detailing in certain areas. And if you want an Audi R8 in your collection but don't want to be spending too much money, I would recommend buying this. Maybe get a different color that wouldn't show so many of like the panel gaps, such as the red or the silver. Um, but overall, I would say that this is a good model, especially for the Sam's Club price that I got it for. So thank you for watching, and I hope that, that this um, helps out some.